Money does not buy happiness. I want to talk about this topic in this video, but I also want to talk to you about why you should get as rich as you can and make as much money as you can. Now, those of you that are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Bashar Ketu and I'm the founder of BJK University, an online education platform with a mission to impact 1 million lives. With that said, let's go ahead and dive into this topic, which is controversial. And, and a lot of people like it, hate it, you know, regardless where you are and where you kind of sit, I hope that I don't offend you in this video, but I just want to create awareness. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story and hope this really delivers the kind of, you know, the, the kind of value or the point that I'm trying to deliver to you. Now, if you have not subscribed yet, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and also share the link to this video with some of your peers that you might think will find this content valuable. So uh, about two weeks ago, um, you know, we got a, a, a video, uh, a recording from my brother-in-law and it was sent to my wife's phone. And for the first two, three minutes, we did not understand what, what the video was about. And then we realized that that video was of his best friend. And his best friend was, they were friends, they grew up together, uh, you know, 10, 20, 10, 15, 20 years ago. And you look at this person, this person is about four or five years older than me, but in this video, he's looking like he's about 50 years old. He's got, he's, he, he was balding, but he's got long beard, he's scruffy, his clothes are dirty and ripped. And the way he's talking, you just can barely make out what you're talking, what he's saying. And then we just realized that this person has actually gone homeless for the last three to six months. And his friend, which is my brother-in-law, literally found him, you know, while he was driving in the street, he found him and then he picked him up and he was driving somewhere. And we were like very shocked because this was a person who actually um, was, well, I'll tell you another, another because there's another, another side of the story, but this was someone who came from a great family, um, good looking guy, ripped, I mean, jacked, great looking body, um, had everything going for him. He actually had a business that was generating a lot of profits. And I remember in 2006, 2007, I used to work at a Greek restaurant as a server. And I used to see that guy come up all the, all the time buying food from that restaurant. He used to always show up with these you know, beautiful girls and used to always drive these convertible BMWs and, and he always, you know, had this great looks on him and I was like, man, I wish I could be like this guy, you know, like one day when I grow up, I want to be just like that. I used to envy him. And fast forward 10, 12 years ago, this guy is homeless and it just, you know, he's in San Diego and we're here in Miami, Florida. And my wife is like, oh my God, I grew up with this guy. In fact, when I was like 10, 15 years old, I had a crush on him, you know? And it was just such a, a, an impactful moment. And it really hit me very hard because over the last about a year or so, me and my wife have been kind of going back and forth about the idea of creating a charitable foundation where we, you know, contribute some of our profits into that goes out there and really makes a good in the world. Because again, as many of you guys know that have been following me, I don't live a lavish life, but I have a business that generates really great amount of profits. I wear a $94 watch. This hat cost me about $10, you know? I wear a rubber band that cost me about 50 cents. I wear the shirt that cost me about $35. So the money that I make, it's not because I want it to support my lavish lifestyle and I want to travel on private jets and, and buy yachts and stuff like that, which one day I might, but it's because I want to impact the lives of other people. So we've been really going back and forth about this charitable thing. And what we realize is, you know, this is the right time now for us to actually do something about it. Maybe we can not help this guy because it looked like he was beyond helping. He was just, he had crossed this level of, 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 you know, just the situation in his life where I don't know if we can help him, but maybe we can. So what we decided to do is we decided to set up a, a charitable foundation and donate up to a million dollars inside of 2022 to that charitable foundation. And some of the things that this charitable foundation will want to do is it'll want to go out there and provide education to, you know, people in countries where, you know, infrastructure isn't available and just simply cannot provide the right education. Uh, you know, homelessness is one thing that I, it kind of hits me hard. And, and I, what I like to do is I like to keep $20 bills in my wallet, although I don't use cash. And every time I see a homeless person, I just hand them a $20 bill. So that way, you know, and, and, and whatever, whatever it is, it's just, I don't know, something about it, it just makes me feel good, you know? The reason why I'm telling this is I'm not telling you and, and to brag about the charitable foundation that we've created or the fact that we're going to be contributing a million dollars to it or anything inside of this year, but I wouldn't be able to do this and say, you know what, we need to do something about this and we're going to donate a million dollars if I wasn't 
able and if I wasn't in the situation I am today. Three, four years ago when I was 150K in debt, I couldn't give a shit about people. I couldn't give a shit about anyone else because I was just focused on myself. I was just trying to survive. I was just trying to make ends meet. I was just trying to, you know, satisfy my parents, you know, because they were so disappointed in me because I lost hundreds of thousands of dollars of their money. I was trying to get married. I was trying to get my life together. But because I've been so fortunate, now it's like, you know, I am in a position that if someone reaches out to me for help, I want to help them. You know what I mean? And I want to really put them in, the, in a position where I can help them. But again, you cannot do that unless you get wealthy. You cannot do that unless you actually have money. So my, my, my not suggestion, but my request and almost my challenge for you is go out there and make as much money. Now, I'm not telling you to go out there and scam people or do some, you know, rob a bank or whatever. But if you are someone that's like, well, but money does not buy happiness. But I'm not about money. I'm not here just to make money. I don't want my life to be consumed by just how to make money. You know, I'm not just here. You know, I don't want, like if I make $10,000, $5,000 a month, I'm happy, right? But you see, the thing that you have to think about is you're thinking selfishly. Because every time you're thinking this way, you're thinking only about yourself. You're just saying, but I don't want more. But I'm okay. But I'm happy. But money is not about happiness. Money is not going to buy me happiness. You're thinking only about yourself. Where the wealthy is always thinking about other people. Right now, when I decided to donate a million dollars, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about other people, but I was, I was only able to make that decision because I put myself in a decision, in a, in a position where I can, you know, I can get wealthy to where, to a point where I can donate a million dollars. So all I'm telling you is I know that there are some causes in your life. There are things in your life. There are whatever, there are many, you know, whether if it's your family, whether if it's your parents, whether if it's. You like, you know, you want to support homelessness. You want to support, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 sex trafficking. You want to support, you know, education, whatever it is. Every single one of you has a cause, has something in their life that they want to support. They want to be part of. And trust me when I say this, you will be able to support that cause or that thing a lot more when you've got a million dollars in the bank than if you have ten thousand dollars in the bank. You'll be able to support it more if you are making twenty thousand dollars a month rather than if you're making $5,000 a month. If you want to buy your parents a house, I'm pretty sure they'll be a lot happier if you bought them a million dollar house rather than buying them a $250,000 house. Or you'll be more inclined to help them if you had $500,000 you know, in your bank instead of having $10,000 in your bank. So all I'm telling you is go out there and get as rich as possible, not for you, but for the other people around you that you care about, that want your support, because when you come from place of scarcity and that's not having enough money to survive, being in survival mode, you don't give a shit about people. But when you come from place of abundance and that only happens when you have more than you can consume, then you can look at other people and you can say, I can help people. And trust me when I say this, the more you give is the more you'll get. If you always come from place of, I just want to give, I just want to help people, you will get more. Every single month, BJK University takes a percentage of its profits <clears throat> and then gives it back to its students. So last month, well, this month, we're giving back $8,000 to our students in terms of $1,000 grants. And that is, they apply and then there's like a criteria that they happen to me is that it's not just money, free money that we're throwing around, but inside of the month of March, we're gonna give eight grants of $1,000 to our students. Why? Because we wanna support them. Why? Because we can. Why? Because we've grown the company to a point where it's making so much more, you know, so much money that we can consume that it's like, why is it going to just sit in the bank? Let's do something good with it. We're donating some of its money to charitable foundations. We're giving some of its portions back to our students. We're doing all those things because we want to support our students. We want to support the people that actually care about us and that have helped us get to where we are. So again, what I'm trying to tell you here is when you get rich and when you get wealthy and when you make more money, you can support more people. And although you maybe don't want more money, for the sake of you, for you personally, but when you become selfless and care about other people, you can help a lot more people when you have a million dollars in the bank than having $10,000 in the bank or $100,000 in the bank. Outside of that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that smash the thumbs up button. Also share this video with someone that you care about. I will see you in the next video. Take care.